What's up, chosen ones? Thank you so much for tuning into this video. May God bless you and keep you. I want to say shout out to the 133 subscribers that subscribe to my channel. I definitely do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart to the very depths of my soul. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. I appreciate everybody for the likes, for the comments, you know, especially ones that have been commenting 1111 below. I need everybody to subscribe to this channel. I need everybody to like this video. And I need everybody to please comment 1111 below because that's for new beginnings. That's for prosperity. That's for abundance. That's for wealth. God is, is getting ready to do some new things in our lives. We have to be able to touch and agree on what God has for us. Understand what I'm saying? Because if there are two or three or more are touching and agree, God is always in the midst. Understand what I'm saying? So I appreciate all the love all the support a couple of people have been sending me some emails thank you so much i am reaching out back to you guys and i'm definitely going to respond to a couple of email questions in this video but i want to get straight to the topic and i want to talk about you know because this is a real real prophetic word guys this is a real prophetic word you know god put it on my heart to share with you guys so hopefully you guys will listen and take heed and understand to what the spirit is saying but it's your reaping season and all your haters are going to have to watch you eat and watch you win. Understand what I'm saying? It is your reaping season. And all your haters, the people that have been talking about you, people that have been stabbing you in your back, people that, that have given up on you, that betrayed you, that turned their back on you, guess what? Now they're going to have to watch you eat and win this season in Jesus' name. You've been faithful over a few things. Now God is about to make you ruler over many. Don't give up just yet. Do not throw in the towel because God has a plan. He has a vision for your life. Understand what I'm saying. And if God is for you, can nobody be against you today? So I just want to say, guys, you guys have been faithful. You guys have been putting God first. You guys have been paying your tithes and offering. Continue to do that because I definitely b believe in paying tithes because God will give it back to you. Double, triple fold. Understand what I'm saying? Your cup will be running over if you pay your tithes and offering. It says give and he shall be given unto you. Your cup will be running over, shaking together, running over. It'll be so much blessings coming your way. You won't even have enough room to receive it. Understand what I'm saying? So this is your reaping. This is your reaping season. Understand what I'm saying? You didn't have your seasons of trials and tribulations. You didn't have your seasons of heartaches and pain. You didn't have your seasons of letdowns, of betrayal. But God said time is up. Understand what I'm saying? It is now winter. You know, God wants you to continue to stay in his word he wants you to be dedicated to his word grab you a cup of coffee you know you know grab you a robe a nice robe and just read your word and pray and meditate and stay away from these people that that's not going nowhere in life god has a plan a purpose and a vision for all of you guys' life especially the chosen ones but that's if you want it understand what i'm saying god want it for you but do you want it bad enough for yourself amen so i thank you guys for just joining my videos and, and subscribing and liking and commenting on every single video you guys are showing so much love but like i said it is your reaping season understand what i'm saying whatever you sow into the ground that shall you also reap understand what i'm saying that is a true saying i believe it what you reap is what you sow if you if you reap bad seeds you're going to get bad seeds in return understand what i'm saying if you reap good seeds i mean if you sow good seeds you're going to reap good seeds understand what i'm saying what you sow is what you will reap understand what i'm saying what goes around comes around we want to do this thing right guys understand what i'm saying we done been through the negativity already we didn't do the we already been through the childish games understand what i'm saying in the word it says when i was a child i play as a child but when i when i grew older i put away childish things amen so what i'm saying is god is getting ready to use you like never before he is waiting on you to say, hey, you know what? I surrender all unto you, Father God. Understand what I'm saying? He is waiting for you to surrender. No matter what your family members are saying about you, no, no matter what the he says or, or, or the she says are saying about you, God is saying he is waiting for you to surrender all unto him so that you can get this blessing he has in store for you. Understand what I'm saying? Because weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. We're living in our last days, guys. And if you've been watching my previous videos, it's 2021. It is not 1991 anymore. Understand what I'm saying? The times are changing. God is, is, is calling all the chosen ones, all the divine ones, all the star seeds to come on out. We've been hiding too long. 
understand what I'm saying? You know how you, like when you were younger, you didn't really know your worth. And then as you became older and wiser and more mature, God began to show you your worth. God been, he been putting it in your mind, in your heart, in your spirit to, you have to lead these children of God. You have to lead these children of people because they are lost. Somebody out here is lost. I need somebody to share this video right now because somebody is really, really lost out there. Understand what I'm saying? Somebody is really getting ready to throw in a towel right now as we speak. We are facing spiritual warfare out here. You guys have to be girded under the word of God. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. It's okay to fast. You don't got to fast the whole day. I understand you guys love to eat. Don't get it twisted. I love steaks and pork chops and, you know, ribs. And, and, and I, I love to eat. But understand what I'm saying. It's okay to fast you know, two hours out the day, or maybe if you want, if you're just starting, maybe an hour out the day, just to fast and, 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 and consecrate and dedicate your time and devotion to God, because you know that he cares for you. Understand what I'm saying? And if God is for you, can nobody be against you? So I need WTC gang to back me up on this, because if any one of these messages resonate with your spirit, please give it a thumbs up. Please give this a thumbs up. And like I said, please also comment 1111 um, in the comments below if you're looking for new beginnings because God is getting ready to do some miraculous things in your life. I need you to be steadfast. I need you to be unmovable, always abiding in the work of God. Understand what I'm saying? It is your reaping season. Everything that you have sown into the ground, everything good that you have sown into the ground, you've been putting in church hours. You've been, you know, giving to the sick. You've been giving to people that lost loved ones. You've been going to funerals. Understand God don't miss nothing. God don't miss a beat. Understand what I'm saying? God don't skip a beat. Understand what I'm saying? God sees everything that you are doing. Understand what I'm saying? And if you wonder when you do something bad, it come back. No matter if it take 5, 10, 20, 50 years, it come back. But sometimes God, grace and his mercy is so sufficient for us. Understand what I'm saying? His grace and his mercy kept us. It kept us protected. It kept us safe. His grace and his mercy gave us another chance because we, we should have been dead and gone sleeping in our graves. Let's keep it real. We should have been dead and gone a long time ago because I'm not perfect. I'm not going to sit up here and trying to chase for cloud or chase for views or chase for likes or comments. I'm not chasing for cloud. I'm not perfect. I want you guys to understand that. I don't take no credit at all. I give all glory to God because he made the heavens. He made the earth. And when I seen the passion of the Christ, that just made my faith a little bit more stronger. I said, Lord, I love you so much. When I seen the passion of the Christ, you guys check that movie. Is uh, I think Mel Gibson is a producer. Oh, it brought me to my knees. And I said, Lord, I surrender all unto you because of his love that he gave when he was here on this earth. How he had healed the sick, how he had raised the dead, how he had fed the 5,000 with just two fish and five loaves of bread. God can do the unexpected. Understand what I'm saying? If you put all your trust in him, he will do it for you. Understand what I'm saying? So this is a, a real good prophetic word for somebody that really, really needs it. I'm answering to some questions. A lot of people are saying, hey, you know, I am sowing good seeds, but why nothing is coming back? You have to be patient. You know, in the word, it says, be patient, wait on the Lord. And he will bring you out. Wait on the Lord and he will make a way for you. You have to be patient. Thus I say, thus I said the Lord, be patient. In all things, be patient. Understand what I'm saying. You know, nothing's going to happen overnight. Deliverance is not going to happen overnight. Understand what I'm saying. You develop in a prayer life, it ain't going to happen overnight. Nothing going to happen overnight. Understand what I'm saying. If you're smoking or you're drinking, I'm not judgmental. God is going to deliver you. He's going to he gonna take it away from you just like he's going to do it for me. He's going to take it from you slowly and slowly and slowly but surely. Don't listen to people when they tell you, oh, it can happen overnight. No, nothing can happen overnight. We're only human. Understand what I'm saying? It's all a progress to get where God really wants us to be. Understand what I'm saying? In the spiritual realm, understand what I'm saying? It said, be sober, be sober in the Lord, always be sober. So you can be ready to withstand these fiery darts coming from the devil, put on the whole armor of God. So you can withstand these fiery darts coming from the devil because we are facing spiritual warfare. And I plead the blood of Jesus over any attack of the enemy or via any assignment over the enemy, any plot or plan that he has up his sleeve. You go back to the pits of hell to where you belong because we are more than conquerors. We are the chosen ones. Understand what I'm saying? Ain't no devil in hell going to stop me from getting to the promised land. Ain't no devil in hell going to stop me to get to the kingdom of God. Understand what I'm saying, everybody. So this is your reaping season. Whatever you have sown into the ground is going to come back to you, baby. If you sow good, you're going to get good back. If you sow bad, oh, bad is coming back. But understand what I'm saying. It's your reaping season.
So I'm talking to the divine ones, the chosen ones, the star seeds, the people that are living for God, the people that are, are called to do his will, called to go by his way. Your reaping season is here. There's no need for you to go back to the world. You'd be wasting time to go back into the world. There's nothing out there for you. These streets don't love you. These streets don't love you at all. Understand what I'm saying? Oh, they'll play the role. They'll play the role like they love you. These people don't love you. God loves you. God will send the right people in your life at the right appointed time that's going to truly love you and have your best interest at heart. Understand what I'm saying? Thus I said, I wait on the Lord. He will renew your strength. I believe God today. You shall mount up on wings like an eagle and you shall fly. Understand what I'm saying? Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you today in the name of Jesus. So I am praying. I am constantly praying for everybody. Trust me when I say that. I'm always praying. I'm always consecrating because like I said, this is a spiritual warfare. We're facing demons every day, guys. It's not the people. We're not wrestling against flesh and blood. I need you guys to understand this. We're not wrestling against flesh and blood. We're wrestling against principalities, against spiritual weaknesses in high places. Understand what I'm saying? We're not wrestling against flesh and blood. Understand what I'm saying? We're wrestling against demons. People really have demons inside of them. And God wants us to just be humble, be patient, talking to the chosen ones, be prayerful. You have to be steadfast, unmovable, always abiding in the work of God. Do what you got to do to make Bible study. Do what you got to do to pull out your videos. Do what you got to do to seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness will be added unto you. Don't, don't, don't worry about what people are saying about you. Don't worry about if people put you down because people are going to praise you one day and they're going to talk about you behind your back the next day. That's just straight facts. You have to understand people are fickle. We're only human. Understand what I'm saying? People are fickle. But if God is for you, who can be against you? No weapon formed against you will prosper. You have to stay focused out here, guys. You have to stay tunnel vision because God is getting ready to do some new things in your life. It is your reaping season. Trust me and believe what I'm saying. I need everybody to like this video right now. I need everybody to get comment 1111 below. As a matter of fact, put that in the comments below. Put, is my reaping season. Understand what I'm saying? Don't be ashamed to put that in the comments below. I need you to put, it's my reaping season in Jesus' name. Put that in the comments below. If you're really looking for your reaping season, if you're really looking for your blessing that God has in store for you, you have to believe in order to get to be in order to get these blessings. How are you going to get these blessings if you don't believe? Understand what I'm saying? God said, I need you to have faith. And all he asks is, is, is to have the faith the size of a mustard seed. That's all that he is asking. Because if God is for you, who can be against you? Understand what I'm saying? So I, I thank you guys for liking. I thank you guys for commenting. I thank you guys for subscribing. And just know that if you need a friend, you have it in me. Understand what I'm saying? If you need prayer, you have a prayer warrior in me. If you need motivation, if you need inspiration, you have the best motivational speaker in myself. Keep believing, keep trusting in the Lord because God will renew your strength. No matter what people are saying about you, no, no matter what people are doing to you behind your back. Sometimes people are so bold, they'll do it right in front of your face. Understand what I'm saying. But you have to stay steadfast, unmovable, always abiding in the work of God. Understand what I'm saying. And if God is for you, can nobody be against you. So once again, guys, thank you so much for subscribing. To my channel thank you for the views thank you for the likes thank you for the encouragement guys because god had told me to make a youtube channel understand what i'm saying i wasn't really too fun about the youtube channel honestly but god said you know what go ahead i have used you until this day go ahead and tell the people of the god that i have sent you understand what i'm saying because a lot of people on here just doing this just chasing for clout i'm actually living this and witnessing this i'm living and witnessing the spirit of god because god is good he is a mighty for god god is a wonderful god god is a saving god and i definitely do believe in god do not worry about what people are saying about you because they're going to talk about you whether you're doing good or bad. So you might as well do the best that you can and stun on the devil. Sometimes you got to stun on that devil. Sometimes, you know, understand what I'm saying. You know people are nosy. You know people are going to say all kinds of stuff about you behind your back. So the next time you, you, you come across that devil, give him something to look at. Understand what I'm saying. Oh, the devil don't like when you win in. The devil don't like when you proclaiming the gospel of Jesus Christ. The devil don't like when you shining, you're looking your best every day. Understand what I'm saying? You got different hairstyles. Every time you turn around, you got a different hairstyle. Every time you turn around, you got a different outfit. You got a different dress. Do not give up. 
Understand what I'm saying? There's a lot of people in this world nowadays because we're going through this COVID-19, we're going through this Delta variant, but the devil is a liar and the truth ain't in him. No weapon formed against the children of God will prosper. Have you noticed during this COVID-19, a lot of people are giving up. A lot of people are just really throwing in the chat, throwing in the towel. A lot of people don't even go to church on Sunday no more. I get up and I go to church on Sunday because I know what God has done for me. Only things you do for Christ will last. None of this stuff is going to matter anymore. You can have the flyest Bentley. You can have the flyest house. Understand what I'm saying? You can have a, 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 a cattle on a thousand hills, but you can't take none of this stuff with you to heaven. When you go see God in judgment day, you can't take none of this stuff with you. You can't, you can't drive to judgment day. Understand what I'm saying? Because to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Understand what I'm saying? So I just want to let you guys know that somebody out there do care about you. Somebody out, there, somebody out there is praying for you. Understand what I'm saying? And ever since we've been going through this COVID-19, we've been going through this Delta variant. It's, it's all kind of disease after disease after disease coming. That's how you know we're living in our last days. Understand what I'm saying? Think about in the Bible, in the biblical days, a leprosy. Think about it. The famine. Understand what I'm saying? Understand what I'm saying? Joseph was a, he was a man of many dreams. He was a dreamer. And he said it was going to be a famine. And people didn't even believe him and said it was going to be a famine. And guess what happened? It was sure enough a famine. And he was the king. He was the king. His brothers had to come back and kneel to him and bow to him because they knew that he was great. They had betrayed him for uh, pieces of silver. It wasn't even worth it because Joseph was a dreamer. Understand what I'm saying? And if you're dreaming dreams and, and, and God had given you dreams of dreams, you are blessed. Everybody don't have that gift. Everybody don't have the spirit of the sermon. Understand what I'm saying? Everybody is not anointed and appointed to do, to do God's will. Understand what I'm saying? You have to be ye separate, come out from amongst them. You see a lot of crowds, everybody doing the same thing. Everybody hanging out with each other. Everybody going to party and everybody ain't wearing masks. Everybody is just doing the, the, the things of this world. Pay attention to the signs. A lot of people are protesting. A lot of people are, are committing suicide. A lot of people are, are getting this COVID-19. Understand what I'm saying? And, and if you ain't never got the COVID-19 and if you ain't never had it, be grateful. And pray for the ones that do have it. Because all it takes is, is for you to lose your breath. And that's it. This disease is so serious. All it takes is one loss, one drop of a breath. And that's it. But God got you by his 39 stripes. He took for our healing power. You are healed. In the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow. And every tongue shall confess. That Jesus Christ is Lord. So I do want to say a prayer. Because I definitely do believe in the power of prayer. Understand what I'm saying? And like I said, if God is for you, can nobody be against you? Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. O oh Lord, our strength and our redeemer. We thank you, Lord. Because you are so faithful and just to us, oh God. Even though we're not faithful to you sometimes, God, you are always faithful to us. Your love is so unconditional, Father God. Your peace is so peaceful. Your happiness is so joyful. You're so excited to see us doing your will. Help us to stay on the straight and narrow path, doing your will, seeking your face, Father God. Help us to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ because we don't take no credit for it, Father God. We give all the credit, all the glory, and all the honor to you. Forgive us for every single sin that so easily possesses us from the love of of Christ. If it had not been for you who was on our side, we would not know where we would be right now. Help us to be girded under the word of God. Help us to put on the spiritual man, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Help us to put on the whole armor of God that we might withstand the fiery darts of the devil. In the name of Jesus, we know he coming east, west, north, and south, Father God. We have to look over our shoulders. We have to look under our feet. We got to look behind our back because we know that the devil is trying to come and attack, but we put our foot over, over his head. We stump on him right now in the name of Jesus. He would not have no dominion or power over our lives in the name of Jesus. Lord, you said man should always pray and not lose sight. Not that I'm trying to be perfect. I'm trying to be better than the next person, Father God, but I know what you said in your word and I know what you said in your word is true and I love you and I give you all the glory and all the praise and, and ask you that you will forgive us for every single sin once again. It was something that we said it wasn't right. It was something that we done. It wasn't right. It wasn't pleasant in your sight. We ask you to forgive us and have mercy on us and continue to help us to do better. Help us to love our enemies, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Help us to love everybody as you have loved people when you was on earth, when they spat on you, when they crowned your heads with the, with the crown of thorns, when they beat you with the cat of nine tails, Father God, in the name of Jesus, when they pierced you in the side, when they plucked your beard, when they spat in your face, Father God, you did not say not one mumbling word.
Help us not to, you know, help us to sometimes bite our tongue and be humble because we know greater is coming. Sometimes the enemy will try to, 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 to attack us. You know, sometimes, you know, the devil will try to use each and every person around us just to see if we, if, if he go get the best out of us, Father God, but help us to remain calm. Help us to, to remain steadfast, unmovable, always abiding in the work of God. And we give you all the glory, honor, and praise. And all these many blessings we ask, we ask you to uh, fill us up with your Holy Spirit. Give us a fresh anointing. Refill us up with your Holy Spirit, Father God. Give us a fresh anointing and renew our minds, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Even though the world might say a mind is a terrible thing to waste, Yes, I do believe that, God. But, Lord, I ask you to renew our minds, renew the minds of the people out there that have lost their minds, Father God. It's not too late to renew their minds, Lord. I see people all the time in the streets, you know, whether they're doing anything, their mind is gone, Father God. You know what I'm saying, but their mind is gone. Save them, Father God. Heal them and deliver them. It's never too late. As long as we got breath in our body, we're going to proclaim the, cos the gospel of Jesus Christ. And we love you. Give you all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen again. And just know if you need a friend, you have a friend in me. If you need prayer, you have a prayer warrior in me. If you need inspiration, if you need motivation, you have the best motivational speaker in myself. We the chosen ones. Gone.